the 68th edition of the Rolex Chiralia. One of the most celebrated and revered events in Mediterranean sailing got underway today in San Remo on the Italian Riviera. And what a spectacle. A colourful fleet of 138 yachts of varying lengths and classes lined up for this historic offshore race. First to go with the predominantly professionally crewed Maxis, like the Wally Cento Magic Carpet Cubed, a two-time Line Honours winner. Then a range of competitive medium-sized yachts, including the 2017 overall race winner Freccia Rossa. And finally the smaller Corinthian crewed yachts, whose participation typifies the spirit of the event. As always, the race's coveted prize is overall victory on handicap. Getting these yachts to the start line has been a huge achievement in itself. So normally the Rolex Gialia should have been started in Saint-Tropez, but this year due to the COVID problem, it will start in Italy. We are happy as a organizer and all the sailors are very, very happy to be here in San Remo for the start of the Gialia. The Rolex Giralia is fantastic. This challenging 241 nautical mile race course will take the fleet out to the Giralia Rock at the northern tip of Corsica before the turn to the finish line of the Yacht Club Italiano Clubhouse in Genoa. With light winds forecast, the front runners are expected to cross the finish line on Thursday afternoon. Join us again for more race updates from the 2021 Rolex Euralia. There were jubilant scenes today on the dock at the Yacht Club Italiano in Genoa as Furio Bonucci and the crew of Arca SGR celebrated Line Honours victory in the 2021 Rolex Euralia. The victory came after a superbly sailed race by the Italian crewed yacht, which saw her assume leadership shortly after the start, a position the crew skillfully maintained throughout the course of the contest. Behind the two other 100-foot maxes, with Magic Carpet Cubed edging ahead of Leopard 3, she set about reducing Arca SGR's advantage. But as the two yachts approached the finish line off Genoa, Arca's lead proved insurmountable, and this afternoon, shortly after 2 p.m., having successfully navigated the fickle winds, the Italian crewed yacht crossed the finish line just under 16 minutes ahead of Magic Carpet Cubed to complete the race in a time of 26 hours, 8 minutes and 10 seconds and claim her first Rolex Giralia line on as victory. Very good. I'm, I'm really happy because uh, all, this boat and this crew is amazing. Uh, everybody on board worked really strong to arrive here to, to win uh, the Giralia. With line honors now decided, the focus shifts to the race's most prized title, the overall race winner on handicap. Join us again for the third and concluding update from the 2021 Rolex Euralia. There was a steady stream of finishes yesterday at the Yacht Club Italiano as both professional and Corinthian crews arrived home after completing the 2021 Rolex Euralia. As always, there were stories to tell and unique experiences to share. The start of the race was very, very spectacular. It's all about this place, these people, the surroundings. Okay. Such big boats, a bit scary for the starting line. <laughs> the downwind leg was very, very beautiful with a, a big uh, fleet with all the spinnaker, with all the colors. It's spectacular. Rounding the Chiralia Rock, it was a really great experience. It's such a beautiful uh, landscape. It's magical place. That was something unbelievable. We had a lot of wind, like 30 knots. We start to surfing the wind, and so it was a uh, spectacular, very fun. Near the finish, the wind dropped very much, so it was a really fight <laughs> at the end of the race. My first Rolex Giralia, 
It was my dream and I'm happy it came true. It's a unique experience. And more dreams came true today for the French crew of Imagine as they were announced overall winners of the 2021 Rolex Euralia on corrected time. After 15 or 20 attempts, it's a fantastic feeling to win the 2021 Rolex Euralia. The perfect finale to the perfect race.